Coming up next on the Passion Struck Podcast, through our struggles, we can develop problem-solving skills and creative thinking. Because when we are faced with a challenge, we are forced to think outside the box and come up with new and innovative solutions. This process can help us be more resourceful and adaptable, which can be valuable skills in both our personal and professional lives. Welcome to Passion Struck. Hi, I'm your host, John R. Miles, and on the show, we decipher the secrets, tips, and guidance of the world's most inspiring people and turn their wisdom into practical advice for you and those around you. Our mission is to help you unlock the power of intentionality so that you can become the best version of yourself. If you're new to the show, I offer advice and answer listener questions on Fridays. We have long form interviews the rest of the week with guests ranging from astronauts to authors, CEOs, creators, innovators, scientists, military leaders, visionaries, and athletes. Now, let's go out there and become passion struck. I receive many listener inquiries about pain, trauma, challenges, and struggles. Many of these questions revolve around the idea of being overwhelmed by pain or experiencing situations where pain and struggle are harmful rather than helpful. Others ask about the impact of trauma and how they can deal with it. Truth be told, most of us have similar questions. So in this week's podcast, I will delve into how the importance of struggle can ultimately lead to personal and professional development and show you practical ways that you can grow from your struggles. Let's face it, growth is a fundamental aspect of life. We begin to grow and develop physically, mentally, and emotionally from the time that we're born. As we progress through life, we seek new experiences and challenges that help us to grow and develop as individuals. As caregivers and educators, we often go to great lengths to ensure that our children don't encounter difficulties. However, it appears that this approach is misguided. Studies indicate that experiencing challenges and struggles is crucial for achieving proficiency and mastery. In fact, those who have overcome the most obstacles tend to be the most accomplished individuals. This is because growth normally involves stepping out of our comfort zones, facing challenges and obstacles, tackling difficult tasks or situations that push us to our limits, working hard to overcome our weaknesses, and learning from our mistakes. Growth and struggle, though, are often seen as opposing forces, with one being desirable and the other being something to avoid at all costs, as it can be uncomfortable, challenging, and painful. However, in reality, growth and struggle are deeply intertwined. And in most cases, struggle is actually a necessary component of growth. Take, for example, the process of learning to walk as a toddler. Neuroscience research has revealed that making mistakes benefits brain development and connectivity. In other words, without struggle, we cannot learn effectively. And as you learn to walk, it's probable that you experience numerous falls and scrapes on your knees. However, with each stumble, you gather the strength to rise again. Brush yourself off and persist with your attempts. This process of experimentation and learning through failure helps you to develop resilience and persistence, ultimately resulting in your achievement of walking. The same is true for all other challenges that we face in life. When individuals recognize the value of encountering difficulties during their learning process, it can go such a long way in helping them achieve their learning potential. In today's episode, I will start by discussing a few examples of notable people who grew from their struggles. There are countless examples of individuals who have experienced struggles and have used them as a catalyst for growth. Whether it's an entrepreneur who faced rejection and failure before achieving success, or a person that had to pivot and adapt to their personal conditions, the common thread is a willingness to embrace the importance of struggle and use it as an opportunity for growth. One well-known example of this is the story of Walt Disney, who faced several setbacks and failures before ultimately succeeding with his iconic animation studio. He was fired from a newspaper job for lacking imagination, and his first animation studio went bankrupt. But Disney persevered and used his struggles as motivation to continue pursuing his dreams. Today, the Walt Disney Company is a household name and a leader in the entertainment industry. Another example is the story of J.K. Rowling. Rowling faced numerous setbacks and challenges before she found success as an author. 
She struggled with depression and was a single mother living on welfare while trying to get her first book published. Despite these challenges, she persisted, and her experiences and struggles have inspired many people globally to pursue their own dreams and never give up, even in the face of adversity. Today, Rowling is one of the best-selling authors in history, and the Harry Potter franchise has become a cultural phenomenon. These examples illustrate the importance of struggle in driving growth and success. They show that it's possible to overcome even the most difficult challenges and use them as an opportunity to learn and grow. But it's not just high-profile individuals and companies that experience growth through struggle. You can have a similar story too. So let's now dive into the value of struggle. The idea that struggle is required for growth is not a new one. In fact, it is a concept that has been recognized by individuals and societies for centuries. But why is this the case? And why is it that facing challenges and difficulties is so crucial for our personal and professional development? There are several reasons why struggle plays a key role in our development. First, struggle helps us to build resilience. As Oprah Winfrey said, where there is no struggle, there is no strength. When we face difficult situations, our natural instinct is to try to avoid or escape them, and it's easy to become discouraged and give up. But through struggle, we are often forced to adapt and find ways to overcome them. This process helps us develop mental and emotional toughness, enabling us to bounce back from setbacks and to continue to move forward despite challenges. As a result, we become more resilient individuals who are better equipped to handle challenges in the future. For example, let's say that you're training for a marathon. The training process is likely arduous and may involve dealing with setbacks such as injury, inclement weather, or a busy schedule. In order to successfully complete the marathon, you will need to persevere through these challenges and stay focused on your goal. By doing so, you'll not only achieve satisfaction of completing the marathon, but you will also develop a stronger sense of determination and perseverance that you can apply to other challenges in your life. As the saying goes, what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. Second, struggle helps us to develop character. Character is the combination of traits and qualities that define who we are as individuals. These qualities are not innate, but are developed over time through our experiences and actions. Struggling through challenges forces us to confront and overcome our fears, doubts, and insecurities, and allows us to develop our character in several ways. These ultimately result in qualities such as perseverance, integrity, honesty, and compassion, which are all essential character traits. When faced with challenges, we may be forced to ask ourselves more profound questions about what we want out of life and what we are genuinely passionate about. This process of self-discovery can cause us to look inward, uncover our true passions, and find things that truly matter to us, ultimately helping us to find our place in the world. In addition, struggles can also help us find new perspectives and see things in a different light, and also force us to consider alternate viewpoints. This introspection can help us areas in our lives where we need improvement, and it can also go such a long way in helping us deepen our understanding of ourselves and the world around us, leading to a more fulfilling life. Third, struggle can make us more creative and resourceful. Through struggle, we can develop problem solving and creative thinking skills, because when we are faced with a challenge, we are forced to think outside the box and come up with new and innovative solutions. This process can help us become more resourceful and adaptable, which can be valuable skills in our personal and professional lives. For example, let's say that you're struggling with a challenging project at work. To complete the project successfully, you may have to work longer hours, seek additional resources or support, or come up with creative solutions to the problems that arise. Through this process, you may discover that you are more resourceful and capable than you realized, or you may identify areas where you need to improve your skills or knowledge. Another example, let's say you're trying to start a new business, but are faced with many challenges, such as limited funding, competition from larger companies, and regulatory obstacles. To attain success, you may need to devise imaginative ways to tackle the challenges that arise, such as sourcing funding from unorthodox avenues, distinguishing your offering from rivals, or maneuvering through convoluted regulations. But by working through these challenges, you will likely develop problem-solving skills and become more adaptable and resourceful in facing future challenges. Fourth, struggle helps us to achieve our goals. Struggle is often a necessary aspect of achieving our goals. Whether we're trying to lose weight, improve our careers, or accomplish 
any other type of personal growth, we will inevitably face challenges and setbacks along the way. But it's important to remember that these struggles are not necessarily a sign of failure. Instead, they are opportunities for growth and learning. When faced with a difficult situation, it can force us to reflect on our strengths and weaknesses and consider the changes that we need to make in order to succeed. This process of introspection can help us to better understand ourselves and identify areas for growth and improvement, ultimately putting us closer to achieving our goals. Fifth, struggle leads to satisfaction and a greater sense of accomplishment. When we overcome a challenge, we often feel a sense of pride and accomplishment that can boost our confidence and self-esteem. This sense of achievement can be especially meaningful when we have worked hard and persevered through any arduous struggle. For example, let's say that you're struggling to complete a degree program. Finishing the program may involve dealing with a heavy class load, financial challenges, and personal setbacks. However, by persevering and successfully completing the program, you will likely feel a strong sense of accomplishment as well as pride in your achievements. This sense of accomplishment can not only boost your confidence, but it can also open you up to new possibilities and opportunities. In your career, and your personal life. Six, struggle can help us build strong and meaningful relationships. For example, if you struggle with a complex problem or decision, you may turn to a trusted friend or family member for support and advice. This process of seeking help and support from others can help you to develop stronger relationships and to build a sense of community and belonging. In like manner, when we struggle and face challenges, we can see things from different perspectives and understand what others might be going through. This can help us to develop compassion and understanding towards others as we recognize that everyone experiences struggles and challenges in life. By struggling and overcoming our challenges, we can develop a greater sense of empathy and understanding towards others, leading to more positive and meaningful relationships. So now that I've gone over those six ways to understand the importance of struggle, I think it's important that we cover also, how do you recognize when it's possibly the right time to quit struggling? As much as I've emphasized the importance of struggle, in helping us grow. I must also mention that you don't have to keep on struggling. I actually highlighted this in a previous episode where I talked about knowing when to quit and differentiating between giving up, which can have negative connotations, and making strategic adjustments to one's approach or goals. Quitting can be an important step in the process of achieving success. There may be times when it's appropriate to quit struggling and to reevaluate the situation. If you are a person who's been struggling with a task or a goal for an extended period of time and is not making progress, it may be necessary to reassess the approach or even set a different goal. Additionally, if a struggle is taking its toll on a person's mental or physical well-being, it may be necessary to take a step back and seek help. In such cases, a change of approach or perspective or getting help from someone may lead to a better outcome. It's important to note that sometimes it can be hard to know when to quit struggling. It may require a bit of self-awareness, introspection, and balance. It is possible to push yourself too hard and to become overwhelmed by struggle. Therefore, you need to recognize when you need to take a step back instead of wasting your efforts and energy struggling on a particular path or goal that doesn't serve you or your purpose. So this begs the question, how do you embrace and get value from struggle? Given the crucial role that struggle plays in personal and professional growth, how can you best approach and utilize it to your advantage? Here are six practical strategies for successfully navigating and overcoming challenging situations. First is to acknowledge and find meaning in the struggle. The first step in dealing with a difficult situation is acknowledging it exists. Denying or avoiding the problem will not make it go away. Instead, it's important to face the challenge head on and accept that it is part of the process. But it's not enough that you merely acknowledge the existence of the challenge. You must maintain the right perspective and see it for the opportunity it brings. This will allow you to recognize the silver lining under the dark clouds of struggle and turn your negative experience into a positive one. Second, seek support. Struggling alone can be overwhelming and exhausting. It's important to reach out for support when you need it. Whether talking to a friend, seeking guidance from a mentor, or requesting professional help, having someone to turn to can make a big difference. So don't be afraid to reach out and ask for assistance when you need it. Third, focus on what you can control. 
In the face of adversity, it's simple to become absorbed in matters that are beyond your influence. Nevertheless, it's crucial to keep in mind that you possess the capability to manage your own behavior and mindset. Instead of fixating on what you cannot alter, concentrate on what you can control. Maintain your aspirations and take incremental actions toward progress. Fourth, Practice gratitude. It can be tough to find the silver lining when we are struggling, but focusing on what we are grateful for can help us to put things in perspective. When you are in the midst of suffering, it's easy to be consumed by feelings of helplessness, despair, and hopelessness. However, practicing gratitude can help you shift your perspective and focus on the things in life that you are grateful for. This can help promote feelings of optimism and positivity, which can help to improve overall well-being, including emotional, physical, and cognitive health. All in all, gratitude can be a great way to build resilience and face suffering in a more positive way. Fifth, take care of yourself. Struggling can take a toll on your mental and physical well-being. To combat this, self-care should be a priority. This could include obtaining sufficient sleep, participating in physical activity, and allocating time for relaxation and rejuvenation. Be sure to engage in practices that effectively restore the optimal condition of your mind and body. Sixth, remember that struggles are temporary. It's easy to get caught up in the moment and to feel like struggle will never end. But it's important to remember all things are temporary and this too shall pass. Keep a long-term perspective and focus on the bigger picture to find the strength to keep going when things are tough. By embracing struggle as an opportunity for growth and utilizing these practical strategies, you can improve your ability to navigate difficult situations and achieve your goals. We have discussed a lot today and I want to summarize this by talking about how we fight to the finish. Growth through struggle is not a linear process. And there will be times when you will feel stuck or like you are simply not making progress. At times like this, it can be tempting to give up. However, it is during these exact times that it's imperative to stay focused and keep moving forward. Growing through struggle is like running a race. If you don't cross the finish line, all the struggles and difficulties you have experienced will not count for much or anything at all. Therefore, you must muster whatever courage and strength that you can keep pushing to achieve your goals and finish what you started. So next time you face a difficult challenge, try to see it as an opportunity to grow and learn rather than something to avoid. When we let go of the facade of pretending to have all the answers and instead acknowledge what we don't know, we open ourselves up to new possibilities. By embracing uncertainty and a willingness to explore the unknown, we may discover things we would have never found otherwise. And after you've pushed through, you will be able to proudly look back on your journey and see all the great things that you have achieved. I hope you all enjoyed the show, and I wanted to thank everyone who wrote in this week, and of course, everybody who listened. Thank you so much. You're about to hear a preview of the Passion Struck podcast interview I did with Uri Levine, who is the co-founder of Waze and the author of the new book, Fall in Love with the Problem, Not the Solution. The realization is that the faster that you fail, you actually have enough time to make another attempt and another attempt and another attempt. And you realize that the biggest enemy of good enough is perfect. You don't need to be perfect in order to win the market. You need to be good enough. And the way to get to become good enough is starting when you are not good enough, when your product is really suck. Remember, we rise by lifting others. So share the show with those you love. And if you found this episode useful, please share it with somebody else who could use the advice that I gave here today on the importance of struggle. In the meantime, do your best to apply what you hear on the show so that you can live what you listen. And until next time, live life passion struck.